Well, actually, I have a niece who is 13 years old who is with us here, and uh, I've talked a little bit about it. It turns out that, at least in the US, uh, children that age know a great deal about biology. They know what proteins are, and they know what mitochondria are. So I'm not sure it's as difficult to explain as seems to be implied by the question, how do you explain it to a 13-year-old? But one of the, I think the best thing is to take an example of what we were able to do. And one of the things that uh, make uh, cells work is that they have little transport systems. They have molecules that have basically two feet and they walk along rails, which are called microtubules, and they transport things from one end of the cell to another. And in fact, the Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology was given for studying the vesicles, the things that these little engines carry from one part to another. But they just looked at the top part here, the vesicles that are carried, and we figured out how a couple of molecules, which are basically two globular domains like this, that are connected by a coiled coil, can actually walk. And they walk the way we walk, in the sense that you put the left foot forward and the right foot forward, left foot forward and the right foot forward. And so that's one example of how, although people had studied them experimentally and had static pictures of what they looked like, they couldn't figure out how they move their feet. They sort of throw their feet forward. And it's that what is one application of the methods that we developed, that it can teach us how molecular motors, as these are called, this is, these are called kinesins, how, how they work. And uh, 